a celebration today of more than a decade of giving back to the community. This is so great. Students and dignitaries gathering in the auditorium at Loudoun County High School as the Technology Access Program presented its 10,000th computer to a deserving student. You see it there. That computer, a surprise for Kevin Castro, a Loudoun County senior. It's a big deal because uh, for me, in my experience, it's only my mother, so uh, it's, it's a lot of financial help, a lot, a lot of burden to, taken away from me for college and just makes it a step easier with all the stress already involved in college. WATE 6 on your side reporter Gabriela Pagan serving as an MC for today's event earlier today. She had the chance to meet the people behind the program to show us new at 6 how they make it all happen. Not having computer skills is kind of like an artist not having hands to hold a brush. I can't see not helping this organization. They are truly amazing individuals for what they've done for all these years for so many children. 10,000 children. It's a milestone that took a village. 12 years and 1,200 members make up the Teleco Valley Computer Users Club. Their biggest program, TAP the Technology Access Program. Which refurbishes the computers and then gets them out to children in need. You cannot survive anymore without being computer literate. TAP founder Warren Sanders one day realized the computers they were refurbishing to sell at garage sales and then giving what couldn't sell to commercial companies could be put to better use. You can't compete with people that are, have learned how to use computers because they've had them around and have been exposed to them and now you're going to go into the job market and you may not have those skills. You may not get into the education that you want because again you haven't mastered some skills to be able to be proficient in the lower grades to get into the better, you know, a higher education to get those jobs. And access to computers opens a creative outlet to springboard their future. If the parents can't afford to buy one, they'll be behind forever. And that's the gap we're trying to fill. There were families we heard about that didn't even have inside plumbing here in this day and age. Making a household computer the last on the list of priorities when you're just trying to survive. We realize that in many instances they would never have a computer if, if, they, if it wasn't for our program. And that's why we keep coming back in here day after day doing what we do. Doing what they've done for the past 12 years, unpaid. Limited government um, involvement. The federal government would get involved with it too much. They'd probably ruin it. They would. They would um, they'd disqualify something. And, and these guys are just trying to do a good deed. And, you know, saying about no good deed goes unpunished. So I'm glad the, the people in Washington don't really know about this, but I think this could be a model for the rest of the country. And in an era where privacy feels more like a luxury than a right, TAP ensures the donated computers are 100% wiped clean using military grade software. It's on the internet. A program known as DBAN, which is a military grade wiping program. And uh, it does three full passes uh, of remove, uh, overwriting the hard drive and then totally wiping it clean. All they really need to do just that are more donated computers. They may have such talent to be the ones to dis make the next great discovery, but it's locked in and they can't get it out. Computers help bring things out. In Loudoun County, Gabriella Pagan, WATE, six on your side. What a great program. It really is. Uh, as we heard, they've been around for a while. We've done stories with them before, and, and they could always use computers. So true. The Teleco Village Computer Users Club, by the way, is the overarching umbrella that TAP is under. Mm -hmm. TVCUC helps its members with everything from online banking safety to connecting maybe to a printer. Yes, and if you'd like to learn more about joining the Computer Users Club or if you have a computer you'd like to donate to TAP, we have all that info for you on our website.